Today I'm using a Hamer Cruise Bass with a 2-tech bridge, a Fender Bassman 100-110 combo, a couple of solid cables, and a Tortuga Sasquatch. So the Sasquatch is a germanium fuzz that originally designed for guitar, but it uh, turns out it works really well on bass, and actually in some ways better. So basic for controls, you've got howl and growl, howl being your volume, growl being your distortion, hungry and full switch, full being very large sounding low end, Hungry being a little bit tighter, setting low end. And then the angry and making mad settings, we'll talk about that later. First off, um, you turn him on with find him, but let's hear the sound through a clean uh, bass amp. All right, and then for determining purposes, I'm gonna dime the volume. Get a little bit of grit here. You can click it to full mode and get even more low end thump. Or back it off and still get some more. So here it does quite a bit to the low frequencies. Now for the freak out, I'm going to set the howl and growl right about here, turn on the make him mad. When I get this to about here, you start hearing a squeal. This blends in how much freak out mode versus how mm -hmm. weird it is. This mm -hmm. is more freaked out, that's cleaner. So get up about here. So you can hear what it can do under freakout mode. Now, what if you want to control that other than just turning this knob? Because can... do all manner of weird things by turning those. But there's another way you can control it. 
you can actually control how much the Sasquatch freaks out from the volume and tone controls on your bass just by turning them back and forth. Here's the sound I just had. Uh -huh. 